Welcome back, my beautiful family. How is everyone doing? I haven't seen you in a little bit. In about two days. But today, I have my empties video. I'm in the guest bedroom today because the lighting is, is everything. Yes, and my lipstick is popping today. Mm. Okay, so I have not done an empties video um, in a really long time. I think the last time that I did an empties was maybe, I know for sure it was before the holidays, like Christmas and maybe Thanksgiving. I don't know, but it's been months and I have been collecting quite a few things. Some things I've had to throw out because, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. So, but other things I've kept. So I'm going to share with you guys what I have saved up and these are like the most important things to me that I want to share with you guys so um, you all know I love my candles and I have there was a video that I uploaded on Bath and Body Works candles I think I think it was after Christmas or something like that well it was it was a Bath and Body Works haul and I've used up some of those candles already. I told you, don't play with me and my candles because I absolutely love them. So I'm gonna share with you, not all of them. And as a matter of fact, I just made another purchase yesterday with a gift card. So as soon as that comes in, I'm gonna share that with you all because I'm so excited. They have the, the spring line now. So I purchased a couple, I think it was just four candles and then the rest are just whatever. You watch and you'll see. But um, I think I purchased some candles that I have never purchased before. So I'm kind of looking forward to smelling those and see what kind of... Anyway, you get it. Let's just dive right in. The first candle is, and I shared this one with you in that video. And I'm going to either link it up here or down below um, the video that I haul this. But this... <sighs> mm -mm. People, this candle is everything everything the perfume is everything too so I knew because I had I purchased the perfume so I knew that I was going to really enjoy this candle this candle it's cold into the night and it's very perfumey it is this is a really nice candle to have in your bedroom um, because it, it is perfumey um, and if you don't like that perfume smell then you're not gonna like this but this and the packaging hello Look at that, look at that lid, look at that. Look at the sparkle, it's beautiful, but it smells so good. Okay, the next candle. <laughs> Guys, okay, let me just let you know that I do not remember everything that I have here. I don't, it's in a great big bag and I don't remember, so I'm gonna be just as surprised as you are. This candle must be really old because <laughs> it is autumn. Can you see that? Autumn. Mm -mm. That goes to show you how long I've been holding these. And you know, I've been so busy. I didn't share one of these. And these videos are actually one of my favorite videos to watch um, because I like when people review the things that they've used up. You know how many things I have purchased on people's empties videos because they liked it? A ton. A ton. Let me know if you've done the same thing because I know I have. I watch these videos to see what people like so that I can buy it. Mm -hmm. So this is Autumn. And of course, this is Autumn in a Jar. This was delicious. It smells amazing and it smells just like Autumn. Look at that packaging with acorns and everything. I have holding, I've been holding on to, Lord. Mm -mm. okay, let's see what else. Oh, I think I have two more candles. Okay, I remember sharing this with you in the last hole. And this is Frosted Woodland Pine. And this smells really good. And this was from the line Sonoma. And I purchased this candle um, at Kohl's. So, this smells like Christmas trees. I'm... And it, it, it was really, it was strong. I mean, it's not overbearing, but this was strong. Um, woodland pine, if you see this. And you can probably also find this in um, Marshalls or something like that. It, it's, it's divine. Okay. 
Okay, I think this might be my last candle. And this was in, of course, Cocoa and Marshmallows. And it smells just like the name. It's nice and sweet, very, very sweet. Cocoa and Marshmallows. And I think that I, yeah, during Christmas and stuff. Look at that lid, it's so cute. Um, I burnt this during Christmas, during the holidays. Okay, is that, oh no, wait. I think I have one more candle. One more candle. Oh yes. This is the Twisted Peppermint. I remember this. And this jar is so cute. This was from Bath and Body Works. And actually, I didn't purchase this. This was gifted to me for Christmas. Because she knew that this is one of my favorite scents. But I really wish that I can keep this jar. I'm not even kidding you. Because this jar, I love this scent. Right now, I have the perfume. I think that she also gifted to me. And um, it's a friend who gifted to me. And oh. And I have a, um, you know that, a body gel. Yes. Mm. Mm hmm Can't wait to use that. But I think I'm saving that for the summer months because, you know, menopausal. Okay, so I think that is it for the candles. Listen, I'm not sure. But if a candle, another candle pops out of here, okay. So, you know, I really wanted to categorize these, but there's no time and there's too much. So let's just dive right in. Of course, Mrs. Myers, and this is the one that I used for autumn. One of my favorite. This this is I think my most favorite full scent. And this was the acorn spice. This smells so good. I miss it. Actually, I read. Really, oh my goodness, this smells so good. Cleaning the house with this made me really happy. I can't wait for next year to purchase this again because that's how good it smells. Oh. Amazing. Oh, I don't know if I shared this with you guys before, but these bottles, what I'll do is that I'll rinse them, right? And then um, I'll put like either like, you know, Fabuloso and stuff like that so that I can spray um, the bathrooms with it or the shower when I run out of that shower um, spray that I usually purchase from Grove. So that's what I do. I keep these bottles or if not, you know, I'll, I'll water my um, indoor plants with these bottles too. These are really good sprayer bottles. Why go out there and pay 99 cents when you've already purchased something? You you you, you get what I'm saying? Okay. All right. So another spray that I and this was that was from Grove. And this is also from Grove. And this is the Caldrea. And this was in the scent Tangelo Palm Frond. Now this is not. Let me see before I lie to you people. Hold on. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. I, I don't think that I'm going to purchase this scent anymore because it wasn't my favorite and it looks like this. This is not my favorite. It's not. The other one, I don't know if I have an empty bottle here, but um, the Caldrea, that is my favorite. This one, this smells like oranges and something, you know. If you know me, um, you guys know that I don't like citrus scents. I really don't. Like, I... I'll never purchase lemon sprays like from Grove, the, uh, what's the, the limoncillos from Bath and Body. I don't like those citrus scents. I really don't. So I don't, I'm not interested in this and I won't be purchasing, purchasing this again. Okay. Let's see. Well, it looks more than it is, but all right. Now you guys remember me hauling this along with some of my Bath and Body Works candles. And this was the Stress Relief. Let me see if I'm holding it right. This was the Stress Relief Body Oil Experiment in Eucalyptus. Now let me tell you something. Okay. I really, really enjoyed this body oil because you know I like body oils. I love body oils. This was amazing. I mean, I would put this on when I came out of the shower and the entire bathroom and the everything would smell like eucalyptus. It was so soothing and refreshing. Now, the downside with this bottle is this. Let me show you. Okay. So you see that? So when you go and pour your oil, right? You're going to pour out more than you want. So you kind of end up spilling or not using more, 
you know, you 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 you, you kind of end up, you know, wasting some of it. So I, I don't understand why they didn't put a pump. I don't know. Does it come with a pump? Or was it me that I just purchased the wrong bottle? I don't know. Let me know. Have you purchased this before? Because this, this right here is not working for me. It's not. It's not. Because too much of it came out. And that really upset me. Because I really enjoyed this oil. But I don't think I will be purchasing it because of that. Now, if they put a pump on it, I'm all in. Mm -mm. But it smells amazing. That it does. Okay. I've talked about this plenty of times and I've purchased this on Jet.com. I've purchased this in Marshalls. And this is the Shea Body Butter from Tree Hut and the Tropical Mango. This is my absolutely favorite body butter. It is. It is my favorite. And I miss it because I need another one. Look at that. Mm -mm, I do not play. Mm -mm. All gone. This is so soothing. Well, of course, it's a body butter, but I mean, and the scent of it is, it's it smells really good. Guys, and this is like for, oh, look. This one was purchased at Marshall's. Okay, look, I still have the tag on it. I don't know if it's upside down. $4.99. $4.99. And at Jet.com, and I, I know they have it on Amazon. I'm just not quite sure how much they sell it on Amazon for, but um, on Jet, it's about the same thing, like four bucks. That is amazing, and I need to get myself another one. Okay, I am sad that this is ended because I have to repurchase this, but this is what I usually use to wash my face with. This is the CeraVe Renewing um, SA Cleanser, and SA means that it has salicylic acid in it, and it also has hydrolonic acid, I do believe. Yes, and this is really good for, um, you know, aging skin, acne prone skin, this, I don't like the foam from CeraVe. I don't like it. I will always purchase this one with SA. This, this really works, guys. This is really good. It may be a little bit on the pricey side, you know, just like all of the other CeraVe products because CeraVe is not, you know, it's not a cheap product. It's not. But this is well worth it. It really is. So try it out if you come across. I promise you, you like it. Another face cleanser that I absolutely, I'm devastated that this finished. I really am because I'm definitely going to purchase another one of these because I enjoyed this face cleanser so much because only because of its scent. The scent of this made me happy. It did. And I received this um, in one of my FabFitFun boxes and this is the Tula. This is the probiotic skincare purifying purifying face cleanser. I cannot rave. I mean, this works this works well too, and sometimes what I used to do is just go back and forth because, you know, I switch out depending um I switch out my face uh cleansers and right now I'm using something else from Ulta that I was gifted that I want to use that one up before before I purchase this I'll I'll finish the other one. But this smells I don't, I can't even, I have no, it smells like, it reminds me of vacation because what I used to do is that I poured a little bit of this in a separate bottle and I would take with me to vacation. So this scent will remind me of a vacation time. Maybe that's why it makes me so happy. I think I need another vacation, but it smells so clean. And you know what? This, the, this is how many ounces? This is 6.7 full ounces. They have a smaller size and they sell this, um, I think, I'm not quite sure, either Ulta or Sephora, or Sephora, one of one of the two, but this size bottle is $28, but it's, it's worth it. Like, every now and then when I would have a breakout and I would wash my face with this, and let me tell you something, I've had this for, oh my God, I can't remember when I received this, like maybe a year or two, that's a little bit goes a really long way. I mean, and you work that lather in, it lathers. Oh my God, I'm, I really miss this. 
Okay, I'll be purchasing another one because that scent makes me so happy. Okay, so um, this is a Scandinavia, a makeup finishing spray, and I purchased this um, on Amazon. This is pretty good. This is the oil control one. I like this. I, I like it. I like it a lot. I do. Um, and I needed a setting spray and it took me a while to finish this one, but this one is pretty good. Your makeup will last with this. Definitely. It definitely does. And this is a trick that I, that I do. Um, when, when I'm applying my setting spray, what I will do is that I'll take one of the, um, the sponges and I'll spray my face with the setting spray. And then you take the sponge and you just push it in to your makeup makes your makeup last longer try it okay this was another bath and body works uh fine okay this is one of the fragrance mists and this one was chestnut and argan okay I, I can't remember what this smells like oh this is nice this was very fallish it looks like that um it's like the clear bottle this is very fallish it has like that that hint of cinnamon um you know like that um woodsy smell this is man i need to get me another bottle of these i need to put this on the side yeah this smells really good oh these are the notes chestnut mm -hmm. argan sandalwood and musk of course i love that i love anything musk i love musk I really do. Oh, it's so soft. It's really soft. Oh, yes. I need to put that to the side to remember myself. Then I need to buy another one. Okay, the next, this is another setting spray. This was the All Nighter. You know, actually, I think I like the All Nighter better than I do the Scandinavia. I mean, believe me, they both work very well. They really do. But I think for some reason, I like the Urban Decay All Nighter better. This is, this is, Get yourself some of this. This is amazing. And you can find this on Amazon as well, too. I'm not quite sure how much it is. but So when those run out, what I usually do is that I'll go to, like, you know, my local Walgreens or Rite Aid or something like that. And I'll just get an e.l.f. So I needed this, I don't know, maybe for traveling or something like that. Oh, and another thing that I do is that when I have these small bottles, and I usually use these for traveling, I'll pour some of the big bottle into the small one and take this for travel. So I usually save these so that I can just do that. So that's a great tip. Um, this was nice. This was the, no, wait, this is the illuminating mist and set. Mm, no, I didn't like it. It did nothing. I don't know why it says illuminating. It didn't illuminate anything. Um, and it's so, so with the setting. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that. And I don't think I'll be repurchasing that, but I'm keeping this bottle for travel. Um, okay. Let's see what else we have another setting spray think I like setting spray this was the NYX dewy finish um long lasting setting spray yeah well I don't know about long lasting but I did not like this setting spray I remember this very well this whole dewy finish mm -mm. this is Maybe it's my fault for purchasing this. I don't know. But, but I do remember, I believe that I purchased this from Amazon along with the, the oil control. So it was two, the set. I received the set. This dewy one, no. The other oil control one was okay. But this is not for if you have oily skin or in the summertime, your makeup will, well, mine was... And, you know, and I'm kind of menopausal, but no, it wasn't working. I can't do it. Nope, not anymore. I really miss this, and I have to purchase another one. I'm going to set this one aside, too. So this is the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder, um, the Banana Baking Powder. This is my absolute favorite baking powder. You know, to bake. Right, setting powder, sorry. Um... This is my favorite. This stuff is really good. You can find this on Amazon. And um, yeah, I have to definitely purchase that again. I like it because it has like the, um, I don't know if you can see. Let me see. No, I think it's too bright. But it's it's like, um, 
Oh, look, I have a little bit left. Um, it's like, it's not white in color. And I don't, I, I don't like those white setting um, powders. I don't like them. They, they say that they're translucent, but not on my skin. You, you know, I mm -mm, turn white. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I have no idea. But this, because it has a yellow tone. That's what I was trying to say. That's everything that I love. So I'm going to set this aside because I need to purchase another one as well. Okay, the next item that I have here. And I received this for Christmas. Um, this was in a set and this was the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I really miss this. Um, I will not be purchasing this because this is like, people, this is expensive. I mean, not this size, but this, this can run you for like 30 or $40. <laughs> I don't think so, but you know what? I enjoyed it while I had it and it smells really good and it's very moisturizing. Um, and I'm glad that I received this for Christmas, but this is just too expensive. I'm not going to spend $40 on bum bum cream. Okay, but it was really nice. All right. Oh, wow. I forgot I had this. Okay. So this was the Tarte, um, shape tape. Tarte Shape Tape is one of my favorite. That stuff really works. This was a small, I don't even, I don't remember. Did I purchase this? I don't know if I received this. I think I may have received this somewhere. I don't know. Oh, it may have even been in an old Ipsy bag. Yeah, I think so. But it looks like this. And I can't even begin to tell you what color this was, but I believe that this was, this is like a medium tan or something like that. But shape tape is, is everything. It really is. It, it conceals so well. Um, maybe when I finish using up what I have now, um, and this is a mini, this is, I'm sure I received this in an Ipsy cause it's so tiny. Um, I'll probably go back to Shape Tape from Tarte because that stuff was really good. I enjoyed it. Okay, what is this? I don't know how that got there, but this, I'm not throwing, I have no idea. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. So, I don't know how this got in this bag, but, um, I don't know if I was still looking for this or okay this is a Steve Laron blush and this is still good because I don't know how it, it must it must have fell in there look how pretty that is I don't know can you see that is beautiful color and I don't know how that got there because this is still good and it's just called blush I think that's the name of the color blush unbelievable I don't know that fell in there by mistake okay let's just stick with makeup because I have one more item here that's not makeup and we'll leave that one for last okay this was from Smashbox and this is a studio skin uh, 24 waterproof concealer I re okay and this is in the color I really like this people I really really do and this is <clears throat> what I usually um this is what I usually purchase. Look, I have blush on my finger. <laughs> um, from Amazon because I really, really like this. Uh, what is this color? Let me see. This is in the color medium dark. So I'm in the color <clears throat> medium dark, excuse me. Um, and this is really good. Yeah, I really miss this because this color was perfect for me. Now I have, I'm using something else and it's a little on the dark side, so I have to actually use two concealers to get the right color. But I'm gonna set that to the side because I need to purchase another one. All right, um, so this is a concealer from Fit Me. Fit Me is awesome and it's usually, um, it has become actually my go-to 
not concealer, foundation. It has, but not in this one. If you see, this one is the white lettering. I don't know why I purchased. I think I may have purchased this because it said dewy. And I should have learned because I need to stay away from the dewy. Um, this is from normal to dry skin, which I am not. I don't know what I was thinking, but I think I just wanted to try this. Um, this is in the number 330, but Fit Me is awesome. It's a really good foundation, and this this is full coverage, people. This will last you all day, at least eight hours. This is, stuff is good, but my the one that I normally purchase, and look, it still has a price on it. Um, I purchased this one from Rite Aid, and this was 820, what is that, 829? And this is for normal to uh, to oily skin. And in the number 322, that's the one that I usually go for, the green one. So the green is for normal to oily, for oily skin, and then the white lettered lettering is for, um, I guess, dry because this is dewy. So I will never be purchasing the dewy one again, but this is my go-to. Now, just the numbers change depending on, this is 322, but depending on the season, whether it's summer, I'll get a darker one, or winter, then I'll get a lighter one. But I love this, love this. Okay, two more items. All right, so this is the Revlon, and I told you guys about this one. I think I spoke about this in another video. This is the Colorstay Brow Creator from Revlon. Guys, this is my go-to brow uh, pencil now. I will not, I don't think I'll use another one. After I found this one, I fell in love. This is it. So it has a spoolie. And then it has the pencil on the other side. Of course, there's nothing else left. But this is so precise that you can fill in your eyebrows, girl like nobody's business this is amazing and this will stay um i don't think i've tried this in the summer yet because i think i just started using this in the winter months just recently so let's see how this works in the summer um but what i normally do is when i do um my eyebrows with this um after i've put my foundation on i will go with a setting powder you know such as this one and one of the sponges, um, or even the brush, but the sponge is better. You dab it in one of in uh, the setting powder, and then you pass it, you know, on your eyebrows. And then, excuse me, you put this on, and that makes your brow thingamajig stay on longer. I don't know. Maybe I'll demonstrate it for you guys one day. Um, but this, this is amazing. I don't, I can't see myself using anything else but a pencil, so that's just me. I mean, you know, a pencil that's precise like this. I don't like angled pencils and it doesn't work for me. I really, really like this. Okay, um, and the last elf, the last makeup item is an elf, and this is in the Matte Magic. Now, remember I showed you the, what was this one? The Illuminating, which was mm -mm, garbage. This Matte Magic, on the other hand, is really good. This, this is, this, this will definitely set your, I mean, and it's really not bad. I mean, these bottles are really affordable. Um, they cost, there's no price on them. I know I didn't keep a price on them. I mean, they are really inexpensive people. They really are. And you'll get a lot of uses depending on how much you spray. Um, but when you set, you don't have to, you know, go overboard. Um, but this mat is really good. And I'll use that during the summer months. So in case I run out of my other setting sprays, I'll, I'll purchase this from anywhere Walgreens, Rite Aid, supermarket. They have these in my local supermarket. Um, but the matte is really good. So try that. Check that one out. Okay, and the last item, I remember hauling this for you guys, was my Hello, let me see if I can fix it. No, no, forget it. It is flat. It's flat, like a pancake. 
because I squeezed the life out of this tube. This was my charcoal toothpaste. Remember I went and I purchased the charcoal toothbrush? This toothpaste, now. I did see a difference. I did. Um, it wasn't as much as I wanted it to be, or I don't know, maybe it was just me. My hopes were like up here with this charcoal toothpaste. Um, the taste is pretty good. You know, it tastes really natural. It's not really, really minty. Um, it doesn't foam your mouth like that, but you, you can tell that you, your mouth is clean with this toothbrush. Now, the best thing to use with this tooth, with this toothpaste, I'm sorry, the best thing to use with this toothpaste is the toothbrush for the charcoal toothpaste, which is black. Because if you use a regular toothbrush with this toothpaste, your toothbrush will turn black. If you understand what I'm saying, it will. It will stain your toothbrush. They get really ugly. So, this was really nice. Um, I think I've used another one. Oh, I'm not using it because it finished, but I think I used, I purchased another one. This flavor was okay. And this was like in the Akai or something like that, which was all right. Um, but I found this at Marshall's. Um, and I have to purchase myself another one because I really miss it. I did see a difference. Um, not as much as I wanted it to see. If you get what I'm saying, they weren't as white as, I don't know. It's maybe my expectations were just, <laughs> but that's me. Um, but I did see a difference and, um, this toothpaste does, it does work. It really does work. Maybe I have to use it for a longer period of time, but I really like that. I really enjoyed it. And I think that is it, right? That is it guys. So if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, all right? And don't forget to share it either with your family, with your YouTube family or your friends or whoever. Just share it. And don't forget to hit that button, okay? All right, I'm tired. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.